B.J. Jones completes his pit stop. He gets four fresh tires and fuel. The Nissans at the front of the GTS category have crashed and hard. Steve Millen and Johnny O'Connell, along with a third car, which we believe is Brent O'Neill. Number 25, there's O'Neill climbing out. Millen's car was already stopped, and O'Connell came flying through and apparently could not avoid the two crashed automobiles. There's the Shader and Earl Camel Lights car. This brings out a full course caution. Very big accident. Steve Millen it got together with O'Neill. That's Johnny O'Connell. He's gotten himself over the guardrail now. That was a huge impact as uh, O'Connell had nowhere to go. He T-boned the car of Steve Millen. We see that car on fire. All drivers out. That's Johnny O'Connell laying there being attended to. Now this is coming over the infield access tunnel, the DeWitt Tunnel. And it is a very difficult location in that A, it's very narrow. And also, as you climb the hill to that location, you come over a blind crest. You see, as you come up the hill through that curve, O'Connell likely did not see the two cars until it was too late. We are under a red flag stoppage here at Watkins Glen. You're looking from turn two up through the S's. And just as the cars disappear out of sight around that blind corner at the top of the S's, it's where the incident happened that brought out the red flag. Let's show you a replay of what occurred here. Well, that's Steve Millen in the number one car, and Brent O'Neill, they've made contact. Steve's backing up. Here comes Johnny O'Connell. Nowhere to go. Hits Millen's car at a ton. I mean, 140, 50 mile per hour hit right there. That's O'Connell going into the guardrail with the car on fire, just starting fire. Totally destroyed race car right there. As you see, it has blocked the track. We've got a couple cars coming. You'll see P.J. Jones come through here in a second as Brent O'Neill is the first to climb out of his car. There's the Leitzinger Nissan as O'Neill scrambles to safety. It looks like uh, Brent has got a leg problem. He's hurt his leg. He's going to go over and sit down. That's Bob Shader, Bob Earl car snaking its way through. Here is, in fact, Johnny O'Connell, who's got himself out of his car, and he's uh, really taking a blow, too. He's coming over the guardrail to safety there. We still haven't seen Steve Millen in his car, the car that was sitting still that got broadsided at a huge impact. And a close call for O'Connell getting over the guardrail. P.J. Jones went through there and uh, caught some debris. His car came to a stop on the course with the nose of one of the Nissans underneath it. And uh, let us correct, Steve Millen did not immediately climb from his car. as being attended to by the uh, course officials and workers at the scene. 